Hello, beautiful. Or should I say, hollow, beautiful. <laughs> I know what you're probably thinking, is this Christine's channel? Um, no, it's actually me. It's still me. It's Brad and it, uh, Christine is not here. And I wish she was, but she's not. I don't know. Today, we're coloring a wig hollow. And um, if you're thinking, Brad, that's not possible, I, I thought so too until I saw this kind of going on on Instagram. Apparently it's it's kind of possible. It kind of looks like holographic hair. And today I have concocted an amazing idea. I've honestly sat around for the last four hours today thinking of like how this is gonna work and what I'm gonna do and how it's gonna do it. And I think I've come up with something really interesting and exciting and kind of, should I say awesome? Like typically I go into these videos where I try something new for the first time, not knowing <laughs> what the hell I'm gonna do today though. I spent a long time figuring this out with a lot of help from a lot of videos. So here's a few videos that I watched to try and figure this out. I watched one from Briona Leroy. I watched one from Caitlin Ford. I watched one from Beauty Insider. Gone and watched all the hollow hair stuff ever possible. It's much harder than you might think. So I'm gonna take this brand new, never before colored lace front wig, and I'm gonna color it with a very interesting color pattern. Sort of hollow, sort of not, sort of really cool. Once I get into it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's do the damn thing. Let's get it started. Welcome to Brad's holographic hair coloring school. I will be your teacher today. I have a piece of paper in front of me. Why you ask? Because I'm gonna sort of test out the color order that I want first. That way I can kind of get a visual on what I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't know why other people do this. I saw Caitlin do it on her video and that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, great. And here is a cube of plastic. I don't know why I have it here. So here's my thought process. This is a lot more difficult than you think because obviously you can't put every kind of color together next to each other or else you'll get a muddy color. So you kind of got to think of an order of colors that makes sense, looks good, and when they mix together, it doesn't make an ugly color. I know what you're thinking. What? That's so hard. And I'm like, yeah, especially when you haven't slept in the past week, it's harder that way. So I want the hollow concentrated in one area. So this is why this is here. I was thinking, imagine being in a dark room and you take a flashlight and you kind of shoot through this plastic cube block prism. Is it a prism? It's a block. You shoot a light through it and it beams onto the wall and in the middle of this dark room, there will be kind of like a rainbow, bright rainbow effect going through. So I was like, that would be really cool on hair. So basically what I'm thinking is, I wanna just concentrate the hollow effect kind of around the perimeter of the head and keep everything else, the roots and all of the ends, a dark purple color. Because I think it'll be really cool. In my head, I'm conceptualizing it and it'll be really cool. So after I figured that bit out, I was kind of like, okay, now let me figure out the color variation I want. And you know, use colors that kind of look like something you would see that's holographic. Oh, I'm using overtone today. You guys know, I love overtone. And I will be taking the purple and I will do a purple at the top. And then I'm gonna do some pink, which is vibrant pink. Okay, that looks nice, right? And then I was like, <laughs> you gotta put some yellow in there cause it's hollow. That looks cool still, right? And then we got green, which is our vibrant green. And then we got vibrant teal as our blue. And then last, Sort of lastly, we have our pastel silver. And then at the end, for the rest of the hair, we're gonna fill it in with purple again. So that's kind of the basics of what color pattern I want. But now, what I saw Miss Caitlin do in her video, and her video is linked below, by the way. She kind of went in a, this pattern where she started off with her original pattern, and then every time she did a new section, she kind of bumped up the colors. That doesn't make sense, I know, because I don't know how to explain this, but I will show you right now in a little speed through moment going on. So basically, when you look at this, you have yellow, yellow, green, 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 blue, 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 gray, 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 all going up in a slant. And I'm going to take the sections at the top of the head and bring them back, paint them horizontally back. So when I let it down, you have all these beautiful variations of color. That is what I'm imagining in my head. Is it going to work? We only hope so. I believe it will. And I believe it's going to be the most gorgeous thing I've ever did in my life, but who the hell knows? So if that didn't make sense, well, you'll see. Let me get the um, wig out, I guess. Let's do it. All right, so basically we're gonna take out a bit of a section up here. Put your head down, miss, please. Miss, please. 
Thanks. Okay, so this is gonna be the section that we do all the hollow stuff on, and the rest of it is going to be colored purple. It'll make sense, I swear. <laughs> I honestly, I swear. Her part is right here. So we're taking about an inch in width out and about like five inches deep and we are sectioning this all out. And that is gonna be the part where we do the hollow effect on. The rest of it will be colored this dark purple to lighter purple color. We're just gonna go ahead and do the basic color first and then we're gonna come up to here and do the hard part, which is the kind of interesting hollow stuff we're gonna try out. Okay. Just be careful when you're coloring lace wigs because obviously this is gonna be really dark purple and you don't wanna color lace purple, so <sighs> wish me luck. You guys know how to color hair one color. It's quite simple here, so. And I'm also using the extreme purple from Overtone to do this purple. So I'm just painting it section by section, watching out for the lace. Do not put too much color on there because it will get colored and you will look like you have a purple scalp and nobody has a purple scalp. And if you do, that's awesome. I'm also leaving the ends out because I'm going to mix gray onto the ends so she has a bit of variation of color and it's, just, it's not just one ugly solid color because I don't really like one solid color. It's kind of just like not fun, you know? Hi. It's already been an hour and a half and I've only done one side. Hopefully I get through this. I think I'm gonna get through it. It's gonna be great and it's gonna be really fun and <sighs> I finished the side. As you can see, it goes from a dark purple to a light lavender gray moment. It's gonna be really pretty. I'm really excited genuinely and let's do the same thing on this side and let's finish off the most boring part of this process. Okay, so here comes the weird part and the interesting part and the part I am most excited about. Okay, so this is our pattern, we went over that. Now, for the interesting part. So, as you can see here, I have a weird contraption. All the hair that I already colored obviously is below the saran wrap to keep it nice and organized. And the part that I haven't colored yet is out here. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. So I'm parting it where I'm going to part it. That's also obvious. And now I'm going to color horizontal lines. So I'm going to now part out the hair. Now it's gonna be kind of weird because this it's a wig um, and they don't like to part. And we're gonna take very fine sections. That way we can penetrate the entire hair section. Let's clip that section out of the way. And this will be our first fun section. Woo! <laughs> so we're gonna follow our pattern. So we have the purple first. I'm just gonna kind of do like a root with the purple. And I'll explain as we go why this is so hard to do on in a uh, wig over here. So we have this. Once we get to the lace, it'll be a lot easier, but right now we have this section for the interesting part <laughs> and the part that I hope works. We're gonna go with pink now. Okay, we're gonna be doing small lines like this. Can you paint the plastic so that it goes through all the hair? Okay, and now we're gonna do yellow. We're gonna follow our pattern. And now green, fun. Make sure the hair is nice and spread out or else you're not gonna get everything colored and it's gonna be really ugly. And then we do blue. That's right, that's right. For somebody like me that doesn't have patience, this isn't a good idea. I might go crazy by the end of this. Actually, I have already am, but that's okay. Gray. Okay though, I'm already getting a vision. Are you guys seeing this happening right now? Woohoo! And now for the ends, we just color them purple to match the rest. Oh dude, this is gonna look Freaking awesome. Also, love the fact that I can sit down while doing this. This is like hairdresser's treat right now. Okay, that is our first section down. That's exciting. I am kind of pumped about this. We're gonna work on the second one. First of all, I gotta put it lay down another piece of plastic. Duh. How pretty is that? So let's do our another, another one of these. And now the pattern changes. So now we go purple, yellow, green, Blue. And this is why it's important to have like your key in front of you. It'll just keep your mind organized because you will get confused very fast with this. Gray, pink. And I decided I'm gonna wait till the end to do all of the strands purple. It'll just be a lot easier for me. So we're just gonna do like a little line of purple for now and then we're gonna fill in the rest later. Exciting stuff, honestly. So if the person was sitting up, we'd be taking sections across this way 
and bringing them back all within the part region. What happens is when this hair falls down, you're gonna get all variations of color up and down the hair, and it's not gonna be a straight line. It's gonna be much more holographic, sort of a light projecting out of a dome, like the one I showed you in the beginning of this video. In my head, at least, it's gonna be really, really cool. Again, hard thing to explain, but you'll see. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna keep doing this, and doing this, and doing this. Hey. Have you guys checked out my new channel yet? It's called Brad and Eric, it's linked below. It's a really cool freaking thing. It's a reality show about my life and Eric's life and my business and what goes on behind the scenes and how this all comes together and what we do and what I do. And it's really fun. Please go check it out. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to. I don't know. I messed up. Okay, it's okay. It's all right. I'm good. It's hollow. You can't really mess up. Right? So far so good though. I'm kind of nailing this. I kind of feel good about this. I'm kind of like killing the game right now. Like what? If this comes out good, I get bragging rights for a whole year. So now we have completed this third pattern over here. We're gonna now go back to the first one and do them all over again. So you go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that is that. And it's super simple. Once you make your pattern, you just follow it and try not to lose your patience while doing it. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> and just like that, I messed up already. I just lied, okay? I'll explain why. So, you know when I said to do the three patterns and start over again? You don't do that. You just keep going until you get to the first one again. You go down the line, bam, 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 until you get to the first row again. So I'm starting the pattern again. <laughs> and I'm not gonna screw up this time. And we've reached the lace section, woo! That is gonna be a lot easier for me now to part the hair. Listen, man, some people, sometimes you just screw up and um, I screwed up and now I am fixing it. And now it looks great and I'm happy. Okay, so now we're back on track here and we're ready for the next layer. Try not to get on the scalpage, the fake scalpage, or else it's gonna be weird, you're gonna have a pink scalp. I don't think that's cute, I don't know. So now green, blue, gray. Hair is one of the hardest mediums to work with in so many ways. Generally, doesn't really wanna do what you want it to do. I mean, poor hair, like, we've found some really weird shit to do with hair. Honestly, at this point, like, what haven't we done to hair? Somebody tell me that. We've pretty much done every weird thing possible to hair. Imagine what the hair feels like. It's probably like, what are you doing to me, bro? Like, why are you making me holographic? Like, I just wanna be blonde. Like, that sucks, because I am not making blonde. Another one. This is gonna look so cool. Guys, ah! the longer I spend doing this, the more nervous I get because if this doesn't look good, I'm gonna be a little distraught. And you might not see me on YouTube for like a week. Bro, I am hustling right now to finish this. And I'm going crazy, but it wouldn't be a good dye job if I wasn't going crazy. To be honest with you, my best work is when I'm going crazy. And so, pushing through it, man. It's been hours. If you ever do this at home, don't. Or don't. Or don't. No, honestly, if you do it at home, just prepare yourself. I don't know. Order some food so you can take a break in the middle. I have a problem with taking breaks. I don't know how to do that. But a person who wants to stay sane should take breaks while you do this. I'm getting more and more excited and I really believe that this is gonna be sickening. And I cannot wait to put this on my head for you guys. And as you can see, we are still alternating colors. We are just going in the same pattern. We're trying to not make a mess and hardly succeeding at that. Hair is just such a difficult medium to work with, but it's nice when you can take the hair off of the head and work with it like this. I honestly don't think that it would be that much different working on a client like this. It shouldn't be that difficult because what you could do is just lay foils down in the back of their head and just keep pulling the hair back. Pew! That's another section down. I am ready to finish this. I am very close to being done. So let's power through and get to the next step, shall we? And I'm making sure I stay off of that lace. I said this like five times in this video, but you don't want colored lace. Ah, I was 
was so close to doing this all right and I just screwed up the pattern again. Damn. I'm gonna try and fix this. Oh my God. What the F? We are on the last piece over here. Hopefully I don't screw this one up. <laughs> oh my God, I can't figure this out. I'm going crazy. Gray, purple, no, gray, pink, gray, pink, gray, pink. Okay, got it. Okay, great. Gray, pink, yellow, green. This is my last few brain cells trying to work right now. Blue, oh, I did it. And then purple again. And I finally made it to the last piece with only three little oopsies, feeling good. This is the last color. <sighs> my stress is gone. I am gonna now just color in these ends with all purple and then I will really be done. So, four hours later, we're ready to blow dry. It's gonna look a lot cooler when it's dry, but here she is. <laughs> Okay, honestly though, it looks really weird on camera right now. But like, I swear, I, I think it's gonna look really cool when, I'm, when it's blow dried. So I'm just gonna do that. Let's do it. Um, so, um, like, um, did it come out as expected? No. Um, is it like, okay? You can be the judge of that. Do I feel pretty in this right now? No. Am I gonna go on camera and show you what it looks like? I guess that's my duty as of now. All right. <laughs> Listen. Listen. <sighs> It was all going so well, and then it all kind of crumbled to pieces once I started blow drying it. It's just not exactly how I was picturing it. I was picturing more of a hollow type of vibe, but you know, not horrible for the first time ever trying something like this. Okay, so now that I'm looking back on this, um, <laughs> I was so tired when I was filming this at this point, and I'm looking back and I'm like, dude, it's kind of cool. And I think what's throwing me off is my face and how ugly I look in the wig. If it was on like a cool looking girl and she had like cool makeup on, I think it would look really cool. I really don't know anymore. Like, does it look good? Does it? You can be the judge. Um, I know everything I did wrong already and I know how to fix it next time. I wouldn't pull the sections back. I would do them probably horizontally. Like, there's a lot of things I would do differently. <sighs> Anyways, sort of a waste of five hours of my life. Uh, so cute though. Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to like make it work and it's not working. That is my attempt at hollow hair. The first time I've ever done it. Maybe the last. I don't know, but this is it. She's okay. Follow me on Instagram at bradmondonyc. Follow my brand, xmondohair on Instagram if you'd like to. Um, we have new products coming out very soon. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.